In healthcare settings, uh, weight-biased attitudes have been documented across pretty much every kind of healthcare professional there is, including people who specialize in obesity. So including people who work with patients with obesity all day, every day, you see these kinds of biased attitudes and assumptions. So this goes to say that, you know, biases are part of being human. Everybody has them. And sometimes just knowing about a disease isn't enough to dispel some of these kinds of misconceptions. Um, so it's really important as healthcare professionals to be aware of the biases that you might have and to keep them in check or challenge them so that it doesn't translate into affecting patient care. Um, and so this isn't to blame healthcare professionals for this, but the important thing is that patients are walking away feeling judged, and that can have negative consequences. So it's really important to identify the source of that. Um, this was a survey of patients who reported that they delayed preventative healthcare services, even though they had access to it, for reasons such as disrespect from providers relating to weight, um, embarrassment of being weighed, negative attitudes, medical equipment that's too small, and unsolicited advice to lose weight. Um, so coming in for a flu or, you know, a problem with their arm and being told that you should really lose weight. I'll give some quotes from a qualitative study that asked people about their worst experiences with weight stigma overall. Um, so this was someone who said, I think the worst was my family doctor who made a habit of shrugging off my health concerns. The last time I went to him with a problem, he said, you just need to learn to push yourself away from the table. Later turned out that not only was I going through menopause, but my thyroid was barely working. Um, so this is an example of a, a healthcare professional being dismissive about a person's concerns, that it's just as easy as pushing yourself away from the table and ended up missing other real health problems. This was a quote from a woman who said, I asked a gynecologist for help with low libido. His response, lose weight so your husband is interested. That will solve your problem. And I've heard from other patients about, you know, a therapist telling them, well, if you want to find a man, you really probably have to lose weight. Um, so you can imagine having an experience like this and what's the likelihood that that patient is going to return to that healthcare professional or any healthcare professional after an experience like that. 